Hi, in this video, I am going to show you an example to understand what is uh, ordinal logistic regression. So, I am going to take a data set to uh, do that. So, here is the data set. Uh, so, let me explain you what the problem is. So, uh, I have taken a data set that has the rating of different cricket players and there are uh, various categories of cricket players we have taken into consideration okay now the idea or the problem uh, that is given to us is that uh, to find out the uh, the probabilities of a certain player getting a certain rating okay and there are uh, nine categories of rating you can see there are nine uh, ratings from rating 1 to rating 9 rating 9 being the highest rating and rating 1 being the lowest rating and we have categories so different categories of cricket players and I'll explain what these categories are okay so the first category is the Indian international so Indian cricket players which who is part of international team um, then foreign national because in Indian Premier League there are also foreign players who are, who are also participating so uh, foreign cricketers who are also playing international cricket are in the second category then the Indian domestic peop, uh, so players who are playing in the domestic league um, and they are from India third category and then foreign domestic so these are the four categories so we need to know based on this category who's the likelihood of someone getting uh, a particular rating and there is also frequency like from how many players we have you know found out this rating so rating is the target variable for us and category is going to be the uh, the factor or the feature or the independent variable which will uh, you know um, give us an idea of what's the odds of someone getting uh, a, a given rating okay and frequency is like the number of players who have been taken into consideration uh, uh, you know to come up with this this rating values okay so we're not going to use frequency we'll only use a single independent variable and the idea is to understand uh, the ordinal logistic regression now what is logistic regression well if you're familiar with logistic regression you know that it's a type of regression used to model uh, categorical data so if a target variable is categorical in nature it has dichotomous that means it has got two values uh, you know most of the times it's zero or one and they're trying to find out the probability of your target variable taking one or zero so that's where you use logistic regression now order logistic regression is an extension of logistic regression to multiple categories so not just two categories or not of dichotomous you can have multiple values for um, the target variable now the values should be ordered that means uh, they should be in certain order you can you know uh, have these ascending order or descending order for instance the rating of players from 1 to 9 are in the ascending order that means rating 1 is the lowest rating uh, and it, it can go up 1 to 2 and that's higher rating and then 3 much higher rating and up to 9 so they can be ordered so rating can be ordered so a uh, case is where you have more than one category more than two categories so here we have a nine categories nine types of rating and they can be ordered in that case or in those scenarios you can use ordinary logistic regression so I'll just repeat uh, the target variable should have multiple more than two categories and the categories should be um, in ascending order or in descending order it should be in some order okay you can have an ascending order descending order in such a scenario you can use ordinary uh, ordinal logistic regression now one of the assumption of ordinal logistic regression is that there is assumption of proportional uh, odds okay i'm not going to get into the details of what proportional odds are but from a prediction point of view that assumption is not that relevant but from if you want to explain um, if you would understand how your dependent independent variable affects your independent variable then that assumption is quite important and it's important to know whether proportional odd assumption uh, gets violated in this case or not 
Okay, so I'm going to straight away go, um, you know, build a model. Okay, I'm going to uh, build the model. So I have shown you the data. Uh, so we have got this as the dependent variable rating and categories as the independent variable. The syntax is similar to what we have seen in the logistic regression, uh, proc logistic data, and then I'm going to use the data set players. So the name of the data set, and we have class information. So category is the it's a class variable. So we'll have these classes, and the reference category is four. And explain what reference category is. is. That means when you will have in the result. Uh, all the rest of the categories will be uh, compared to the fourth category. So fourth category is nothing but the foreign players, right? Foreign cricketers, foreign domestic cricketers. So they are going to be compared with all other categories. The model is uh, Y. Y is nothing but your rating. Uh, and then cat is the category. Okay. That's the only independent variables. Okay. So we'll run this. And I've already run this. Uh, I'll... Straight away go to the results. So let me show you how to interpret the results in a uh, ordinary logistic regression. Okay, uh, so you have 36 observation out of which 28 have been used. So eight observation have been removed. Uh, they may be having uh, missing values, so that could be the case. So there are nine categories in all. Okay. Uh, so total frequency that means frequency will be used as a count so frequency will be multiplied to the number of times it appears in the data set and that's why it is fre total frequency and that's this is the numbers and then we need to see whether the convergence criteria has been met and it's satisfied so we can uh, be sure that the result is good enough to interpret otherwise if this would not have been satisfied and we cannot go ahead in understanding or interpreting the result. All right, so we also need to look at the global null hypothesis that it has to be significant, otherwise you cannot explain or you can under, uh, interpret the result. So this has to be significant. So all the p-values are, uh, you know, with the given less than 0.05, so it's significant. So uh, Okay, now we will go to the analysis of maximum likelihood estimation. So ordinary logistic regression, much like other logistic regression, uses a maximum likelihood estimation procedure to get the parameters. We have got several intercepts. Why? Because we have got several categories, right? So for um, categories, we have the uh, estimates, the beta estimates and the corresponding p-values. Now, all are significant as a, as can be seen here, less than 0.05 in all cases. Okay, so what's important here is to understand what's the odd of somebody getting a lower rating and higher rating. So the idea is to understand somebody belonging to a particular category. Let's say somebody is from a foreign domestic player, how his chances of getting a lower rating is... Um, compared to someone playing uh, someone from Indian domestic uh, uh, player okay or somebody who is international uh, Indian international player is compared to uh, a foreign international player okay so we can do this comparison so category 1 to category 4 that means Indian international player has been compared to foreign domestic player okay so the odds of Indian um, international player getting a lower rating compared to the foreign domestic player is 5.05. .05. Similarly, the odds of the inter foreign international player getting a lower rating compared to um, compared to uh, a foreign domestic player is 143. Somewhat. <laughs> okay, and then um, category three compared to category four. That means uh, an Indian domestic player getting a lower rating uh, compared to a foreign domestic player is 27.734. Okay. Um, and then the C statistic is 0 0.789. So the better the C statistics, it, it is uh, the, bet, the better the C statistic, the better is the model. So it, it normally lies between 0 0.5 to 1. To closer it is to 1, the better is the model. 
can also uh, you know look at all the comparisons you know we look at as I've said four is the reference category and in fact you can change the reference category if you see the code we have used the reference category this as four we can have uh, the other categories as the reference category as well so um, okay so we can um, see the uh, the all the combination of categories so cat1 to cat2 cat1 to cat3 cat1 to cat4 cat2 to cat3 cat2 4 and then cat3 to cat4 so all the odd ratios have been estimated and uh, we have also the confidence limit for the odd ratios okay uh, so odd ratio gives an idea about so somebody belonging to category 1 what is the likelihood that uh, what the odds are in terms of getting a lower rating okay so that's the idea here so it helps us you know trying to understand you know it actually helps you know what's the you know real world uses of this well the um, the real world uses could be auctioning like in Indian Premier League while uh, you know the franchise is select players so somebody the chances or the odds of someone becoming a good player from a given you know category is what you know that's the way they will price uh, different players and this is one way of doing that of course there could be many other factors will, will play not just one factor so the idea here is to understand how it works and we can include more factors you know it's not just categories that matters in fact there are other factors like you know player score uh, then his uh, you know his uh, run rate his strike rate uh, his average and so on so many things um, matter a lot while uh, selecting a player and that that's how you know it can be done by including more variables more factors finally we can visualize the um, probabilities values so somebody getting a lower rating uh, because of belonging to a given category okay so there are how many categories we have in place okay so how come we have nine categories uh, okay, so this is rating sorry so categories are the four categories one two three four and uh, nine ratings right in the first category you can see one two three so which one are the highest you know most rating um, I think it is seven uh, seven eight and nine so seven eight and nine are the one uh, are the ratings mostly given to the category one um, uh, players okay and they're good rate they're getting good rating right similarly uh, you can see that for category two they're getting five six seven eight five six seven eight are the most category Just look at the colors and compare here and you will, you will get get to know that similarly for category three you were mostly getting uh, four five six yeah four five six and for category four you are mostly getting two three four five okay something like that okay so you you can see you can compare the odds by looking at uh, this visual plots and it's it's much more clear okay so once we have this model in place you can also individually score each players and find out the probability of someone belonging to a given uh, rating or somebody getting a rating given rating that also can be done so we can use a score uh, keyword and, and and get the values okay. so that's basically the idea of ordinary logistic regression wherein we are using multiple category instead of just two categories in a normal logistic regression to find out the probability and to find out the odds um, or the odd ratio rather.